Okay, we're deep into the title screen music. It's so good. This this half is so much better than the first half. And this art is bitchin'. Look at us. We're all so pretty. Yeah, well, we did mention it was time to reunite and fulfill this promise that keeps being alluded to the entire game. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Start the song over. Um... Starting here because we're going to be jumping in right away to Chapter 4. I do want to point out in advance that Jack Rock, who's been commenting frequently on the videos and has been helpful for information, has mentioned that we are long past the halfway point. Not necessarily really? the end, but I think, uh, well, you can speak for yourself, but I think we thought that it was going to be kind of like the pacing of the first game because it sort of resembles the first game. Yeah. And that the prologue would be kind of representative of the halfway point, but... Right, this game is going to be shorter then if we're already past yeah. the halfway mark. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Well, um, I mean, I guess it'll depend on if we still have like the full six chapters or not. I don't think there's going to be six are, chapters from what he was saying. Yeah. So, that, so that's part of why. My guess is five, whether that's four in an epilogue or five in an epilogue, I don't know. Yeah. Um, huh. Interesting. But it also makes sense because the more I was thinking about it at the end of the last chapter and just kind of going over events, the more I was like, you know, it's been... Whether you trust the end game timer or not, 60 to 70 hours already by the time we get to the end of Chapter 3 here. And with what happened at the end of Chapter 3, which we'll talk about yet, um, it does seem like that was not a mid-game revelation. Right. So. Yeah, exciting stuff. We'll see what all that means. It doesn't yeah. really change anything per se, but it's still good to note. Mm -hmm. But yeah, because at this rate, if there was six chapters, we'd be on pace for 140 hours, and that seems like a little much. Yeah. We're playing a little slower. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. It's courageous time. Uh, we're playing a little slower than we would be on my own watch. Like, I would not be spending this much time on text boxes. I'd read way quicker than that. Yeah, right. Um, but this song. We sometimes stop to talk about things. So it could be like 10 hours over what a casual playthrough would be. But we're not like 30 hours over. We're not like, I'm going to fight this boss nine times because I died every time. <laughs> I'm so... Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm just very distracted by this song. I love this song. It's my All right. favorite. Also, we got the new uniforms for the um, Thor's folks, the main campus. God, the song is so good. I missed this track. <laughs> We're going to go into the bridge just as we get to the good part. Don't fade away, song. No, I won't. Okay, good. We're going to the bridge. Nope, we're going to the cargo hold. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Prediction one. 0 for 1. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> no. I need to turn it up. We're not quite at our, our right volume. You yeah, guys hear it the same. Yeah, there we go. Ah. That's better. Oh, here's the uh, Hugo. Right. Yes. I was like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Meowth, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you, sir? He pushed his glasses up on his nose, which means he's evil. Yes. Can confirm. That's not actually true. No. And yet. Oh, my God. It's Victor. We found him. Well, he had to be around somewhere. Yeah. I did just say put him on screen or we riot. So that was good timing. Yeah, that was good. We are now over the western part of the Isengard mountain range. Estimated arrival in Heimdall is 1410. Maintain current course and speed. All right. So we've swapped out his voice. Oh. That's Jameson Price. Yeah, that it is. That is not, uh, God, what's the other guy's name? McConaughey or whatever. McConaughey. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Michael Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey. <laughs> Michael, Michael McConaughey or something like that. Okay. So that's weird, but all right. Yeah. Once we reach Ulster, adjust course to run parallel to the railroad. Aye, aye, Captain. You have my thanks, Your Grace. Oh, it's Night Art. Mm -hmm. Hello. Your assistance this past week has been invaluable. A much less obnoxious Cam Clark character than a certain person who was just carried out of a meeting room. Turtles! <laughs> That's the one I can think of. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Cam Clark was the was the Ballard guy? Yep. Ballad? Ballad. Oh. But a snooty one. But awful. Yeah. Gotcha. So much better. Yes, that is better. Think nothing of it. This is the Crimson Wing's job, after all. I've no doubt your first bout of field exercises in North Ambria saw you even busier than I. It is I who should be thanking you for your hard work. To be honest, I'm having a difficult time deciding how to proceed as a teacher. <laughs> Perhaps that is a sign of General Craig's influence. I would advise you to follow your own convictions for the time being. That way, you may... 
Ah, instructor. There you are. Prince. <laughs> Ruining everything, I see. I actually don't know if that's Cadet true. Arner. Greetings, my lord. Seeing it up close, the Courageous is truly amazing. And though it was barely used during the Civil War, its main cannon is certainly impressive as well. Perhaps we should consider deploying a number of cruisers to match our fleet of battleships. Cadet? It is true that during an emergency, such power may prove beneficial. Learning when to use one's power and when to refrain is an important lesson. If that is the lesson your field exercises have taught you, and I'd say it is safe to declare them a success. Yes, of course. My thanks, Captain Arsade. I look forward to seeing you again. I wish you luck patrolling the Summer Festival alongside my older brother. Hmm. They didn't like that. As I say, he's going to give them some lip. Yeah, he is. Because he's a horrible garbage person <laughs> now. Because, <laughs> like... By station, he has the right to. He outranks them. Yeah. But. And there goes our song. By accomplishment and strength. <laughs> yeah, no. I God, don't... I hope he gets his butt whooped either by us or by someone else. Like, I just need his day to be ruined at some point. Plaza Bifrost. Okay, what? so <laughs> this is an interesting new song that I kind of like the sound of, but it's not Heimdall. Yeah, it's not the Heimdall song. What is this? I miss the Heimdall music, too. Well, we just got to hear a snippet of it in the Courageous theme, so. Fair. Yes. And that is a good version of it, so I can't complain. I can't. No, I won't. <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, now we're underground. Okay. This seems fine. Oh, we got some army people chasing civ- What the hell is Not happening? Not civilians. Ghost civilians. Ghost civilians. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys' is running Damn animation it. needs some work. Okay. The military police was chasing <sighs> some folks. How mm -hmm. many times have they slipped away like that now? There's no end to it. <sighs> we need help from the intelligence division or the RMP. Hmm. Man. It'd be nice if all we had to deal with are those half-wits. It's a remix of the other it dungeon is, theme. It is! That's right! I remember the dun-dun-dun! That, that part. Yep, that same bass line. Yep. But we can't afford to let our guard down. Spread out and lay low until the appointed time. Be sure you've got your ramdas ready to use. What? <laughs> Roger. Recommencing mission. We got some rando dudes. Oh, there's grass. Red flowers? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, just gonna ignore it. Gotta go. Oh, God, it's the Reaper. So. <laughs> Was that Vita just murdered it? Thanks. <sighs> There's no end to them. <laughs> the eyes which served as the vessel for the bringer of miracles. But when the flame consumed the mirage, the fairy tale became that of the Empire. So as a professional, how do you intend to intervene? Oh, was I that obvious? Well, we were just talking about him. Oh my god, we were. <laughs> What's up, Professor? To be perfectly honest, I'm having a bit of trouble finding a lead. I was hoping we could work together as friends and colleagues and have ourselves a little information exchange. I could even help you bury the hatchet with the elder of your clan, perhaps? <laughs> That's right. 
You have an agreement with her, don't you? Well, I'll consider your offer. However, I ask that you play nice from now on, Mr. Former History Instructor. Or should I say, Second Dominion, Thomas Lysander the Partitioner. Ooh. Those glasses look worse now. Yes, they do. <laughs> it's distractingly ridiculous looking. Also, I guess he's more than he seems now. Because that's everyone. Is this going to be Alfin's sad song? Or Elise. Either one. Whoever. Hmm. I assume one of them is involved, given where we are. Have there always been little lakes? Oh, okay. <laughs> We're in a garden. I was like, uh, why are there sparkly things as if the higher elements are in play? Look how elaborate this room is. This is ridiculous, but I like it. I mean, it makes sense. There, whoa! There are a ton of roses <laughs> just right there in the middle. So that's where Olivia gets them all. <laughs> it makes sense. It's all coming together. I was pulling them out of nether space, but it turns out he just has a million of them back home. <laughs> Emperor Eugene, you Eugene? I don't know. How to Eugene. Say his name. Eugene. <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Eugene the Third. And Priscilla. I remember these people. <sighs> I would not have expected that Oliver would be missing the party like this. It is unfortunate, yet understandable, given the current situation. With the Crimson Wings safeguarding Heimdall's skies, I'm sure the citizens will feel at ease. Yes, but I can't help but feel bad for him. I wonder if he's been upset over Cedric's actions of late. Hmm. <laughs> Oliver isn't the type to let that get to him. You should know this as well as I. <laughs> no, you're right. He was only a young boy when he lost his mother and was adopted into the royal family. Look, this is cool. I like the art. Yep. I like the additional backstory. Yep. But why would she need to be telling him this? Uh, yeah, well, I know, right? It was the same thing with the freaking... <laughs> yeah, um, the, the it's three... like that, but even worse. Yeah. The Stallrider, yeah. It, yeah, it's like, why? You would theoretically already know this. But this since is... it's new to us, I'm fine with it. It's cool. I'm happy. It's just... Come on. <laughs> yeah, this is a bit much. Um, Very unnatural. Also, her voice acting is a little... I guess we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I would have understood if he hadn't accepted me, given his early life. But he gladly welcomed me as his stepmother, and was truly happy when Alfin and Cedric were born. I don't like it. Hmm. <laughs> I'll survive. <laughs> Let's muscle through it. <laughs> yes, that is the virtue he possesses. It's easy to believe he has friends not simply across Erebonia, but the entire continent. Yes. However, recently, even though Cedric once looked up to his older brother, he... Pardon me, Your Highness. Thank Chancellor you. Chancellor Osborne would like an audience. <laughs> Very well. Send him in. Hello. Well, this is happening. We've barely seen him. Yes, and I, I know I wanted the scene to be interrupted. My apologies but... for interrupting, my liege. You as well, Lady Priscilla. Other than that scene at the end of the prologue where they have the phone conference, have we seen him at all? We've mm, seen him in flashbacks and photos him of flashbacks him. Flashbacks but... and like artwork of him, like, like in flashbacks. But uh, I think this is the first time we're seeing him again. Notably, I think. So. I think. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's quite all right. I shall excuse myself now. Good. Sorry, whoever your voice actress is. I don't. I don't hate you, it's just the, the She seems was not to have best. some worries about the prince. It is to be expected. So long as she sees things differently from you. Understood.
in any event. It seems things are beginning to line up with what was written in the records. Yes, though we set the timing for the Civil War ourselves. By this point, however, the ending is all but decided. But are you certain this is all right? Leaving everything in my hands? As I told you 14 years ago, if there truly is no other way to avoid this end, then I shall leave it all to you. It may place a great burden on my sons, but could not the same be said of you? Yes, my liege. I don't know if that camera pan was necessary. I know. I'm like, why are we? <laughs> why Whoa. did we follow him? Whoa. Radiant Heim dollar. Dollar, dollar, dollar. That sounds fun. Is well. it going to get wrecked again? Like in the last game where there's a giant castle and freaky shit happening everywhere? It seems like we had to head here eventually. We're all right next to it. Yeah, we are. Oh, God. So much this time has passed. This is normal. I know it's normal, but it still freaks me out every time. All right. Independence Day, I fully expect to be acknowledged. Uh, this is America. Uh, <laughs> this game was developed in America. There better be red, white, and blue flags hanging around yep. everywhere. Fireworks. Yep. Hot dogs. Yep. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> Feels like forever since we've been here. Yeah. We don't get summer uniforms. What? <laughs> Well, we're you're in the military. We get to Suck be it super up. Sad. <laughs> Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> we're wilting. A melting. certain event. Ooh, that's not cryptic at all. Okay, narrator, I see you. <laughs> Oh my god, are we going to see ourselves teaching again? We only saw this once at the beginning of the game. Yes. Teach the children, Reen. Educate them. Woo. Yeah, we have his memories and stuff. <clears throat> we can have extra information. What are you riding on? <laughs> the same thing Gaius paints on. Okay, but apparently we're not talking. Ugh, okay. Uh -oh. Was that person you and the other instructors fought the real Saint Leanne? This is an excellent question. This is really good question, actually. Very astute. Yep. Oh, Just her. But only she gets to speak. Without a doubt, she was tremendously strong. And that aura of hers certainly seemed real. But it's possible one of Ouroboros' members is just posing as her. Let's put that aside for now, though. Yeah, <laughs> <interesting>. back, huh? <laughs> Stingy! Stingy! We will all we're write all in unison. I was going to say, we're all taking notes at the exact time, same time. <laughs> we were super smart. Well, we were pretty smart, not as smart as some other people. <laughs> We've been wearing the glasses the whole time. Never took them off. We never took them off. Love them. They're great. <laughs> Completes the look. Yes. <laughs> the perfect accoutrement. Yes. 
What? Our glasses are off. <laughs> oh, God. We Story look dictates. naked without them. It's true. <laughs> Ugh, I don't like it. But also handsomer. <laughs> I mean, we're handsome all the time. Let's be honest. <laughs> so can we just skip midterms since we're not taking them as the protagonist? <laughs> <laughs> right? Do we have to? Well, I don't know how they would do that in, in the gameplay of like making us grade them. That would be weird. But... Or yeah, we true. could maybe like study with each of them one last time as part of our free day or something like that. Oh help yeah, their we could help them tutoring. Mm hmm. All right, so you better do your best, you brats. <laughs> so is Cedric number one? <laughs> oh God, he. Uh, by hook or by crook? <laughs> by crook, I could see it. By hook? Look, even Ash is bringing it up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's a fair question. It could be untowards for the future emperor of the whole area to be, you know, 75th in the limited terms. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but Rean's putting those fears to bed. Good. A reward. Nice. Do, 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 do. I'm most excited to go down to the training room and see who we can spar with or as or against. Yeah. So who's the history teacher equivalent of us? Mm-hmm. It's not Thomas. <laughs> no, it's not, actually. That's a good point. Hmm. Might be some new person. You can never be full, not fully clenched. I was like, what does that mean? Like our fists? No, not the fists. Our well, buttocks? it could be the like... fist. Yeah, that's the more likely the one. <laughs> it could be fists. That's fair. You can <laughs> dig your nails into your palm, that kind of clenched. That's yeah, fair. Yeah. But well, I, probably not. Uh, yeah, I think he means the other one. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Randy. He, no, he definitely Randy. means the other one. Yes. Let's no. split up. What is it, Scooby-Doo? <laughs> right? Let's split up, gang. Shut up, Fred. <laughs> God. <laughs> Everybody knows that's just an excuse to go make out with Daphne anyways. Yeah, that's correct. Even the show alluded to that at a couple different points. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, the more modern-day Scooby-Doo's have gotten a little more cheeky with stuff like that. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> I mean, that's good, though. When you have a premise that ridiculous anyways, it's good to kind of lean into it. All right, help our students. It's what we do. And of course, since Angelica said she was just going off to Ruhr, we're not going to have any idea that she's missing for a oh little God. while yet. I had the same thought, too, after our last recording session. I'm like, no one's going to know that she's missing. Like, we're studying not... Studying points. <laughs> studying points. That's funny. Um, Yeah, like, we're going to have no freaking clue. So she probably dead until the game decides she's not dead, but... That was sort of the thing. Like, I didn't have a lot to say at the end of that, partially because we've been recording for like six hours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a lot yesterday. A little burned out. Partially because it's like, is she, we don't even know that she was actually shot. The gunshot is heard. Yes. But there's no guarantee that she was actually hit with it. Maybe she like deflected it with her uh, 
fist or something. <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever. Anyway, so we'll see. If that is actually the end of Angelica, that's a really sad end. Yeah, that's awful. Having a second of her three friends... Yeah. ...betray her, essentially. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great! <laughs> I also want to say we were ragged on typos for a while there and there were several of them in a short span but the end of the chapter cleaned it up just fine. That's true. I didn't see anything in the at the end of that chapter there. Like it was kind of just a rough patch and then everything since then has been pretty much just fine. Yeah. So that's nice. Yeah, it is good. Especially when I got to the more important stuff, it really tightened up. <laughs> Which is good. That's kind of what you want, really. You don't want this, like, really epic, intense moment and it's just littered with typos. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Do you think of anything, Reed? <laughs> Whoa! Hello, okay. Sir Christ! <laughs> Are you trying to get th yeah, okay, you're trying to get through. Well, guess what? You're on my time! <laughs> this is my <laughs> world! <laughs> you're in my world now. Not your world. <laughs> I know you've chilled out, but I, I still hate you! <laughs> Alright, we got all sorts of stuff all over the place. Oh my god! Green stars abundant. Yes. Yellow points to spend. We do need to see... Who's available? What do we got? I don't... We have, we have three bonding three points, points, so we're going to be leaving some of our students in the lurch. Oh. <laughs> uh, we can only go to the branch campus for now. No leaves yet, as is tradition. Um, we're going to be short two points. We also have two key events, one in the building and one in the hangar. Yeah. Well, I guess we got to just start knocking it out here, so. Uh, the books. Oh, no, it was this. Uh, so what? this is a radio story then? Oh, okay. Actually, that is a pretty good... Um... Or no, it's a little hint. Okay, so maybe that's tied to like the the more of these we find, the better the students do. Oh, interesting. Maybe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. The door to the tactile conference room is locked. Oh, this might be above me. Oh, I think yeah, it okay. is above, yeah. All right. Well, Principal... <clears throat> I have a question! Yeah. Since there's two key events, we can start this one without fear. Oh my god, she has glasses. We have glasses too, except we're not wearing ours anymore. Dang it! We messed up! Oh wait, we are... Well, oh god, yeah, we're wearing them again! Yeah, just that key scene, I think. Oh, okay. Sweet, I'm so glad. Glasses, buddies. <laughs> to suppress your vision? Good lord. Yeah. That is a correct <laughs> sweat drop. Yeah, we're just curious about some things, you know. Even further beyond. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we probably won't have Aurelia around next time. No, we're probably going to get... But Whoa! Ah. We can give her stuff? So, because she's been in the party, is she... She's not here. 
which means that she must be rejoining at some point? I would think so. Why else would they give us costumes? Unless... Oh. She's here, because she has been a party member. Sweet. God, I kind of like both. I don't know which I like better. I like the glasses. You like glasses on everyone. I do like glasses on everyone. <laughs> Ooh. I don't hate it, actually. I don't mind her cape, but she kind of clips through it herself. Right. Especially when she was moving, we could see it when we were running around the dungeon with her. That's true. So maybe we will. I like it. Now her hair kind of floats a little awkwardly behind her over where the cape would be, but, you know, can't win them all. We, you win some, you lose some. I'm going to leave the glasses on. Unless... Sweet. Okay. She, she's the only one who can wear them. I just want to make sure. <laughs> they're, they're vision suppressing glasses. They would murder everyone else's eyes. <laughs> okay. Excellent. <laughs> I'm doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Should be it for the first floor. No, we have a study person down here. Who is it? God damn it. Uh, <laughs> we're first floor, I think. <clears throat> so that'll be Yuna. Is that right? We're first floor? Uh, yeah. Building, yeah. Upstairs. Yeah, yes. we should be first floor. So that's Yuna. She probably needs help more than almost anyone. <laughs> we'll save correct. those decisions for later. <laughs> Yeah, we'll there's a lot to, to mull over right now. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be good for link points, so I'm probably going to want to use the people I'm more likely to use. So that's bad news for Ash. <laughs> uh, we got all yeah. sorts of stars up here. Different groups of students studying, I guess. Oh, and Toa. Hello, Toa. You may have to pull up a guide on this, too. We'll see. Okay. We want this bonus AP. Yeah, I might have to do that. Um, let me get my phone. If there is any, whether it's this or... Okay, it's just talking oh, okay. to him. Or in the skits with the students, there may also be ones to answer for points. Ooh. So it yeah. wouldn't hurt to have that up in the background just in case we need it. Okay, I'll go cause... get my phone. I'll be right back. Okay. I'll give you mine, but then if I get called or something, then we're... <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> SOL. Then we're in trouble. Okay. Give me that. All right, good. So now my plan to get rid of Michaela is working. And uh, this will be an anti useless game the rest of the way through, so please enjoy. And yes, she's fully in earshot of all this, so this is intentional. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> I am offended by all of that. <laughs> At every level. Every level. Exactly, but the important thing is I have my phone now, so if we need to do things, we are ready. Or I'm yeah. ready, I guess. Good. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Woo! We're also hurtling towards that top A free prize, which we talked about at the end of the last chapter, so that also fits with the idea that we have... That's true a chapter in an epilogue or something thereabouts yeah a chapter in a final dungeon in an epilogue mm -hmm. that would make sense to me all right here's kurt don't know if he's gonna be one to study with we'll come back anyways even if it is help computer hello tita Thank you, or thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Can you help me with my orbit right now? No? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, then she can't say the line, so I don't need to talk to her right now. Yep. But she will say the line. Eventually, yes. And I will talk to her. <laughs> and, and it'll be 20 times of thanks. Thanks. And it'll be great. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Being a loner. I 
Unless she's got like photogenic memory or something and she already knows everything. She still hates me. It's all I do. I'm sorry. I can't help it. <laughs> I'm just wired this way. I have to help everyone. I'm a serial meddler. <laughs> serial head patter. Serial, serial meddler. Wow. those <laughs> Serial eater. <laughs> those things... Are All right. difficult to say back to back. Yes. Picked up a side quest. Should be it for here, except now a new one has appeared in the cafeteria. Oh, maybe that's where Pablo and um, Gustav? Those aren't the members of the music club, right? Gustav. The... Gustav. So we got a couple different things here now. Randy! Hello, sir. It's probably going to be Altina, Yuna, and Kurt, by the way. In your final party? Uh, in my study class for this, for my points. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. I was thinking a little too far ahead. Right, okay. I haven't even bothered thinking about final party construction because I don't know who all is going to be there. If it's everyone combined, we have some hell of decisions to make. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to have some problems. <laughs> I definitely uh... want Sarah in the mix. I don't know if she's going to be an active party member, but I want that order. Yeah, that order is really good. So she's definitely going to be at least a reserve. Laura Sharon's, has to be in. Yeah, Sharon's, Sharon's tea strong time. consideration. If she's available, if. her only having three stars makes me feel like she may not be at the rest of this game, but oh, we'll see. Yeah, that's true. Fee is going to get very strong consideration. Fist bump or fist punch? <laughs> Sorry, not. <laughs> we bump. don't do that a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm just racking in the AP. I'm going to get so many rewards. It's yeah. great. Emma's probably a consideration as well. Yeah, we'll see. I have not been using a ton of spells in this playthrough. I've noticed that, actually. Um, not I'm a ton of spell casting. Generally more satisfied with skills, especially when it comes to breaking. But we've only had a couple of really good spellcasters for short stints. I don't really think Altina qualifies as a really good spellcaster. Yeah. Opinions may vary, but... It would also help if we re-outfitted her. She's a little behind on quartz. We haven't been using her a ton, so she's a little behind in that area, but... Yeah. It could just be that I don't like her Master Quartz, and that's part of what's letting her down in my eyes. Yeah, her Master Quartz is only okay, I think. It's definitely not among my favorites. Yeah. Go talk to her yet. We gotta go talk to the other person. Yep, get the full story. I mean, we have to do Altina. We have to tutor our daughter, so that one's almost like a must. Yeah. And then the two I've used the most besides that are Yuna and Kurt. Well, I'm intrigued by Musei's scene. I, I don't really think she needs the help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From a statistical standpoint. Yeah. Everyone looks so serious. I've been giving out coffee and candy. <laughs> you seem tired. You good? Don't overdo it. Hamburger steak. I don't know if I checked her for a recipe in the last chapter. Uh, I don't remember. That's fine. We've already borked the 100%. Who cares anymore? <laughs> That's um, correct. We have some tier all bombs, too, in addition to the tier all bombs. So I don't know if we need to buy any more of these. We can exchange the last of this, I suppose, and put us back over 200k. Rolling in the dough. We are just rolling. Um... If I were Gustav, where would I be? In mm. the... Uh, I want to go here anyways, so... Okay. 
All right, so Ash is here. Nothing else is here, huh? Okay. No. <laughs> Brown. Uh, yeah, let's go to the pool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus it's just, oh. What? There's no training person. Investigate. Lame. It's locked, so keep people out there and focused on studying. <laughs> Stop slacking off on your studies, kids. <laughs> you can't fight your way out of this test. I guess it's fair. All right, let's head outside. Just see what the whole lay of the land looks like from out here. Whoa, hello. Cel Celestin. That is like Celestine. six inches off the ground. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? Truly a terrible butler. <laughs> Just the worst. <laughs> okay. So we've picked up a green mark. Looks like it's upstairs. Could be Gustav. Gustav. But didn't we see him? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we did. No. Freddy. No bee larva rice. <laughs> Stop it. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances. actually do anything. Alright. Back to Valerie. We can quick jump to that. Alright, Valerie. Stop fighting with your friends. We're gonna force you to make up. <laughs> I must metal. <laughs> must metal. Well, no. I left for a while and I can't... Oh. Okay, apparently we're just going to pretend that we stood here the whole time. <laughs> hmm. That's my middle name. Green oh. Busybody Schwarzer. Pablo jo okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> They're just here now. <laughs> we were just standing right in the open, <laughs> but you didn't notice. <laughs> Somehow you didn't see us. The green's back was to us, but you have no excuse. Yeah, exactly. It is. Yeah. I'm well sorry. and truly. <laughs> He says with a slight smile. <laughs> it even made me angry. <laughs> Look, we should be very afraid of him. It's all about soul. <laughs> Aboot the soul. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Um... Sure thing. You get me? <laughs> We're just gonna break all sorts of rules. Studying? No, you need to rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are they actually gonna play? Not as good as our per concert from the f first game. <laughs> uh, Flattery won't get you anywhere. Just kidding. I think it was better than the concert from the first game. Ha! <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's one of those. <laughs> right. I keep forgetting it's a thing. Rock in a hard place. <laughs> <laughs> Such goat laugh. Clever writing. Okay, I. Mm, mm, <laughs> yeah, it's fair. I want to. But what if it advances the plot? It well, can't you think it would the warn plot. us, I think right? It, didn't it say we had to spend all of our student points, anyways, or studying points? Yeah, I think. Uh, it's sure. Schmidt, so we can avoid him until then, anyways. Okay. Yeah. Why? <laughs> this is worse than um, Tina. <laughs> yes, it is. That is correct. Can we make threes yet? Yeah, we can. Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, we're going to have to make the th appropriate materials for them. We have at least one of each of these, but they're all equipped. <gasps> nice. Okay. We need to come back and make a power orb and a hoop orb. Hoop. Hoop. I could only have like five of these. I think that's just the most I've ever had. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll go back to five then. <laughs> they seem quite nice. Yeah. I'm not too worried about these ones. It wouldn't be bad to have or anything, but. Okay. See um, you later. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned to get started. That's the other one I was waiting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Sorry, whoever your voice actress is. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize on behalf of us. <laughs> That's fair. I'm sorry. He, he's not sorry. <laughs> 